Yes guys, it's Cole, and welcome to a video I didn't think I'd be making in quite a long time. Klopp is leaving. <sighs> when he's done his announcement video, I'm just gonna watch through it, see what happens. I'm not even sure if the video's gonna be put out because obviously it might copyright, but if not, yeah, here you go. But like I said, lost for words, complete lost for words. But anyway, let's get into it. Well, Jürgen, we're here because you have an important message to deliver to our supporters. Would you like to tell them what that is? Ah, uh, yeah, I have to. Um, I will leave the club at the end of the season. Oh. I can understand that it's uh, a shock for a lot of people in this moment when you hear it the first time. And um, But obviously I can explain it, or at least try to explain it um, and I, I love absolutely everything about this club, I love everything about the city, I love everything about our supporters, I love the team, I love the stuff, of everything. That I still take this decision probably will or shows you that I'm convinced it's the one I have to take. Um, it is that I am, what can I say, that I'm running out of energy. Um, I have no problem now, obviously, I think, I, I, I know it already for, for longer, uh, that I will have to announce it at one point, but um, I'm absolutely fine now, but I um, know that I cannot do the job again and again and again yeah. and again and after all the years we had together and after all the time we spent together and after all the things we went through together um, the respect grew for you the love grew for you and the least thing I owe you is the truth this really hurts and that's man. the truth this you yeah. obviously offered a lot of detail in that you know. first answer but I'm sure you appreciate how big this news is for our supporters, so I'm, I'm, we'll I'm drill down into some of the topics and the reasons really behind your yeah. decision. I think the first thing fans will want to know is, is, is something happened, or are you okay? I'm okay. Good. I'm healthy, so okay. as much as you can in my age. A uh, little bit of some bobs, stuff like that, but um, nothing anybody has to be concerned about. So that's absolutely fine. It's um, I told Burnout. The club just burn out in it already in November. It is that I um, oh, I have to explain a little bit that the, 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 maybe the job I, I, I do lot. it's a people lot. see from the outside. Um, I'm on the touchline, training sessions, stuff like this. But obviously, the majority of all the things happen around these kind of things. Um, that means a season starts and you plan pretty much the next season already and. Um, when we sat there together talking about potential signings and the next summer camp and can we go wherever, I just realized I'm not, I, 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 the, the thought came up, I'm not sure I'm then here anymore. And I was surprised by myself about that and then I, I started obviously thinking about it and um, it was all, it started no, it didn't start, but of course last season it was kind of a super difficult season and there were moments when I, in other clubs probably um, the decision would have been, yeah, come on, thank you very much for everything, but um, probably we should split here or finish it and, and That's here. smart, leaving on the high. Um, that didn't happen here, obviously. He resolved this year. I feel like if he did good last year, they left. For me it was super, super, super important that I can help to bring this team back on the rails. Mm -hmm. That was all I was thinking about. And when I realized pretty early, okay, that happened. And it's a really good team put with massive potential, super age group, wow. super characters. Wow, so you waited until and I he, we got our stardom back and then left us on the high. I could thinking about myself again and that, that was the outcome. And uh, it's not what I want to. Um, it's just what I think is 100% right. Fair play to um, Klopp. And you can't hate him, man. Yeah, yeah, that's it. 
is there a reason you're making this decision now, particularly given the stage of the season we're at? Oh, in the idle world, of course. I, in the idle world, I wouldn't have said anything to nobody, and um, until the end of the season, win everything and then say, oh, goodbye. Um, it's not possible. It's not possible in the world we are living in. It's not possible to keep things like this um, secret. It's maybe a surprise that it was that we could keep it until now. Um, but uh, there are so many things um, which are influenced by it, and, and, and especially personal situations. So people from my staff need to know um, early, and especially club needs to know early and needs to plan. You cannot plan anything. You cannot really start. You can do a lot of stuff. With knowing it, but not um, making it public. But might bring the Xavi Alonso. A lot of things you cannot do, um, and that means the club needs time. Over over the years, I, my role obviously was a pretty dominant one. It was not intentionally, uh, but it happened. And a lot of moments when I when I wish that I don't have to do that again. It's the third time that I have to do something like that, and I, I really don't want that. Um, but in the end. Um, I have to because one thing is one thing I'm really convinced of. If you have to make a decision like that, it's better you do it slightly early than slightly too late. Facts. Because too late would have been absolute the worst thing happening. He told this end of season. I don't know. Next season, down. September, I realized, oh my God, I'm that's it. I cannot and I cannot do it anymore. Mm. Um, and then we are in the middle of the season. Everything. So this club, everything we we, we, we built in the in the last years. Um, it's a wonderful platform, a wonderful basis for the future, and the, the only thing that could disturb that now is pretty much that you don't, that you cannot make the right decisions because you are running out of time. And that was, was very important to me that I really inform everybody as early as somehow possible. You said disturbance there. Are you at all concerned this news could have a negative impact on the remainder of the season? I understand the question one hundred percent. That's up to us, I would say. Um, I had a similar situation in Dortmund. It's, the circumstances are completely different, but it's a similar situation. Can't deny that. Um, and it's up to us. So, we, after this announcement, we will make to have probably a press conference or stuff like that. After that, I'm 100% in the season. I mean, can go through. I think we have in the idle world we have kind of 30 games coming up or something like that that's another kind of a full season so there are so many things I have to play for Let and there might might be some He's done. Um, ideas from the outside to disturb what we are doing And but it's it's all about us We the way we grew together in the last few years um, is, is absolutely exceptional absolutely exceptional and I always said it and especially now it's still true nothing has to happen because of me so nobody has to make the games now about me. Please don't. If I can ask for that, it would be really nice. Um, and we just support each other. And I'm fully here. I, I don't think anybody realized any difference uh, in the last few months. If there may be a positive players change. Must know <laughs> guess no players um, because I have to say, when I made the decision, as hard as it is, this was a relief as well. It was like, okay, I, um, I, I, there will be as a finishing line and not for not being here anymore. If I could stay here and, and, and in a role, I would be over the moon. I just can't. And that's, that's it. I really want to um, perform on the highest level. And um, we get only disturbed if we let it happen as a, as, as, as a club. Painful, and um, I really hope really that it will not happen with the team. I'm, I'm sure... We should um, to. We should, they, we should they be will be fine um, with the crowd. I'm sure it will be fine, but um, yeah, it will be a lot. The world out there is bigger. I it's have a to world and all these kind of things. Get um, to a game. But I think it's worth it. Be really it just so do what hard we always did. Specify. Live in the moment. I need find we, we, we push each other as much as we can, and we go for absolutely everything. And the rest is next season. That there's no difference really, really for that season. To be one hundred percent honest. Everything what, what happened in the last few years, it was always my name, but it, it, obviously plenty of people are working on everything and they're still working on that and still doing that. Um, we will, um, the, my role will change, a lot of other things will stay the same and um, so the club is in good hands and, and, and the future is bright and even brighter when I don't have to do it anymore with not exactly the same 
and I've never left before. My, if you look at my my career, this career is actually not possible, I would say, because where I'm coming from, ending up as the manager of Liverpool FC is, is, a, is a is a fairy tale and a very difficult thing to to plan. I would say impossible to plan and difficult to reach. But it's only possible if you are very busy and 100,000% committed to everything you do uh, yeah. and you dedicate your whole life to it. Um, that's what I did. And I How came we lost here Bobby as a as I said it on the first day as, no, a, as a normal as a normal guy and now I am so normal three years. I just don't live a normal life for oh, two long years now. And I don't want to wait until I'm I'm fab too old for having a normal life. Um, and I, I need at least to give it a try at one point to see how it is. Will I miss it? Um, but how I said, I never had this really before, so I, I need to give it a try. And mm. it's the right moment for me, and I think it's the right moment as well for the club, because I can't do the job next year, from next year on anymore, as I did it before, and then I'm not the right one anymore. What was the reaction of the club's ownership when you informed them? Yeah, they didn't smash a party. So we we had obviously a really a, we we developed this a, a really good time. relationship over the years. Um, and but I explained it, and um, they know my they know me now for so long that they know I don't say these kind of things. Let's bring the on a little bit of door open. Come on, try to convince me. Um, these kind of things. Um, I said we know each other for so long and that good that that was clear and they accepted they just accepted it and well, nobody was really happy um, the few people I told it so far had to tell, tell it um, were not really happy I'm not happy with it I just know it's right I think but um, what what are the what are the what are the alternative scenarios what are they yeah. usually you get as a manager you get a say so then you have a bad spell before five six seven weeks. And everybody is relieved when you uh, um, part ways. And the the other the other thing is you get you get I'm not sure what's the other one. You are you you get ill and you have to stop. Um, and unfortunately or, or fortunately I, I I have to do it like that. I don't know. I don't like you know to make that fuss of my as much of as myself. I hate it. Um, I don't it makes consider it myself as that important. But I know that the outside world sees that how it is different. And that's why we do that. Doing very a smart, conference, very an smart official thing. announcement is is a rare thing to do um, in that situation. We just want to make sure that everybody who is with us gets informed in the best possible way. But after this, I am completely in the Norwich game. I am completely in Chelsea game, in the Arsenal game, whatever game coming up. I am completely in that. There is no need for any farewell parties now. With there's a long season to go. I I want to be 100 percent. Um, in it, and I am. I am. Nobody has to worry about my mindset. I just hope that I really. It would be really cool if you just could accept my decision as a difficult one, yeah, but yeah. the right that's fine. one. It is what it is. That's that's it. Because, because as much as I love everything, that. and still think it's the right one, that could show you it is probably the right one. From your perspective, after the announcement is made, it is in this building, it's just business as usual. Yeah, yeah definitely. Business as usual with I don't um, a few no. sad faces. Or yes, a few days, so much more emotion now you're playing. It's now. always changes. In a good moment, to change is obviously uh, something that doesn't happen too often, but if it happens, it's still a chance. So nobody knows what the future will bring, but the basis is so good, this team is so good. If you would have asked me 10 years ago, taking over this year, or my younger version taking over this team, I would run through a brick wall to do that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do this job since 24 years, and at one time I need, I need to have a look. Um, how life is, actually. So, because I don't know. I just don't know. Um, and that's what I need to figure out before it's too late. Um, for me, if you want. Um, and I want to, I, I have to try that. I have to try that now. And, um, and I know, I, I don't know exactly when, but I signed a, a new contract not too long ago. And I was over the moon when I did it. And I was, it was exactly what I felt in that moment. The one thing I, 
didn't know and I underestimated was Burnout. the fact that my energy source is not endless because I never had Burnout. that issue. Oh, it is. And when I realized that, uh, then I had to, then I had to <sighs> tell people that's what I owe you all. And now I tried to describe it already. I had to, I had to explain it to Ulla, Ulla um, mm. more clearly. And um, I tried to explain it with, I'm like a, a proper sports car. Not the best one, but a pretty good one. Can still drive 160, 170, 180 miles per hour. But I'm the only one who sees the tank needles going down. Mm. The outside world doesn't see that, that's good. So you go as long as you have to go, um, but then you need a break. In this case, you need to go to the petrol station. Um, and that's exactly what I know I have to do, but nobody has to worry until the end of the season. I'm, I, 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 I know that I'm, that's, I will be fine until then. When you signed that last contract in 2022, there was a lot of talk about Ula and her influence in making that happen. What's her reaction to this news? I had to explain it. I had to explain it. Of course, I had to. So um, it was not like, oh, thank God. Um, it was a misunderstanding, not at all. So she asked me why, and I explained it like I explained it now to you with a few more maybe private details. Um, um, but um, besides that, it was pretty similar. And obviously, Ulla wants me to do well, and if I um, and be fine. And um, and when she realized that it's obviously really, um, that I'm really clear about that, and that, um, and she knows I don't take these kind of things lightly. Um, yeah, she is happy for me that I, that we that um, that I'm happy with the decision because that's the truth. And people, I when people tell me now how, how, how all the different things we do in the moment and what's going well with the team and stuff like this, I enjoy it like crazy. But I enjoy it as well because I don't. I know it, I will not. I have to do it forever. I need to find a different purpose um, as well. I need to have a look for it. If you ask me, will you ever work as a manager again? I would say now, no. Wow. But I don't know, obviously, what, how, how that will feel because I never had the situation. What I know definitely, I will never ever, I will never ever manage a different club in England and Liverpool. 100%. That's not possible. My love for this club, my respect for the people is too big. I couldn't, couldn't for a second think about it. It's no chance. This is part of my life, part of my, we are part of family. We are, we feel home here. There's no chance to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but all the rest, will I, will I ever work again? Of course, I know myself, I cannot sit just around, but uh, I will find something else maybe to do, but I will not manage a club or a country at least for a year. So that's not possible. I cannot do that. And at I don't least want for to. a year. And that's so that all. means a year's time um, to come back. It's such a strange situation because Cup. I have to explain that I don't have energy anymore, but I'm now right sitting here and I have energy and I'm, I'm buzzing for, for everything what's happening here. But because of the relationship we have, I have to think about this kind because nobody will sack me. I have to make this decision by myself. And at the moment, wow. the responsibility I have for everything here tells me I am not the right one for the future. So I have to tell. And as much as I wish I would be. Um, and that's what I do here. So that pains man. Actually, it's, it's really, it's completely strange. I'm looking forward to the Norwich game. I do. I'm really looking forward to the Norwich game, to play it, home game, then we play Chelsea at home. At one point, the new stand will be completely full. So many wonderful things happen in, 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 in the time, in the time since I'm here. So it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and I love all that. But I will follow that. I will be part of it. I will support it. But well, not in the main chair anymore, from a specific point of view. I just want to come back to your love for the city of Liverpool. You said something recently, and I think our supporters would quite like to hear what you said. It was about what getting the freedom of the city meant to you. So, we have enough time. We have enough time to talk about everything. And there will be t after the season, whenever you want me here. I have contract until, what is it, end of June. So, um, 
uh, and I can we can talk about absolutely everything. So for me, the situation is uh, today is an announcement day. If you want, we have to we have to 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 say what do we have to say. Um, all the rest will come. We will have time for it, and 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 these kind of things. That I not only feel home, that I am home here is one hundred percent clear. That I will love this club forever, will be grateful forever is one hundred percent clear. That. Getting the key of the city is one of the special moments, most special moments of my whole entire life. That I never expect, expected something like this to happen. It makes it even more special because I didn't even know that you have something like that. And when I got it, when I heard the speeches, when I, when I saw the ceremony and all this kind of thing, it was so special, it was incredible. Um, and made me an honorable Liverpoolian so, or Scouse, however you want to see it. And um, I couldn't be more proud on that. But there are so many things and I'm, that's, not the moment to to talk about the fantastic time we had because I actually this wonderful book we wrote together since we are here together um, I, I, I would love to put a few more chapters um, into it that's all I want because I have to talk to so many things I have I know that there are kids out there that when they run in my car after games they want to want to have signings and autographs and stuff like this they never experienced a different manager since they are born. Only recently we met Dara, um, our friend. I probably have to explain it to him as well, and I will, it's no problem. So I really will try to, to do all these things. But in this moment, that's it. And from here we go. Yeah. The people might so I told why, but people might not believe it. Okay, if I have a health issue, then I said, okay, he's not, he's not healthy, so well, that's normal. All the rest, there will be a lot of discussions around. So I can tell the owners tried everything, absolutely everything. There's no issue. Nobody has to discuss that. It's okay. nothing with FSG. If I loved so many things about what we did in the past. So we built two new stands, we built a new training ground. Um, we had always wonderful football teams. Did we always... Um, did it always go exactly my way? No. I'm not sure, I don't even remember it anymore because it was all about discussing hard, talking yeah. about it, what is possible, what is not possible. And from the moment on when the decisions were made, we had the best possible football team. People will say, if, yeah. we, if he would have got more backing from the owners, then that, this and that would have happened. To really think with one more player, a different player, we would have had a point more when we, than when we reached 97 points. Yeah. I don't know how that goes. Players are not that influential. Scoring the right moment, it was about 11 yeah. millimeter here or 50 millimeter there. So that's life. We had so many good things. If you want to remember them, remember them. Yeah. I will forever. I will cherish that 100%. Yeah. But this is the moment where we have to, okay, now everyone knows, now the club can plan, now we can, everything can be sorted, organized, right. and we can keep playing the football we are playing. That's actually the idea. Um, because there are, in our big, situation, big a lot of different scenarios. Big, big the, season. I could go in the next season and start it with like, oh my God, again? Stuff like this. And that's not me. My, my coaching, my managing style is based on energy. I usually have enough to give it to a lot of people. And if that's not there, I'm not the same. If I'm not the same, I cannot do it. And that's what we have to, we all, I have to accept. Yeah. And I hope you can accept it as well. And there we go. That's the plan. Is that your message to supporters then? My message to supporters, I really, I really would like you to accept the decision. That would be nice. And then, if I can ask for one more, for one more thing, after the you, that's the name of the start of the plot, man. Don't sing my song too early. After yeah. telling you. Be loud in the stadium and stuff like that. I could ask you for one more thing. It would be, don't make these these games about me, because there's no need for it. We always knew, and the only thing I always wanted is the full support for the team. It's not for me. I know about our relationship. I don't need any kind of proof. We will have a moment, maybe last match day here or somewhere else. I mean, in other countries or other competitions. There's enough time to do these kind of things. Let's now really go for it. The outside world want to use that, this decision, laugh about it, blah, 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 
want to do it, want to make it, want to disturb us. We are Liverpool. We went through harder things together and you went through harder things before me. And let's make a strength of it. That would be really cool. Let's squeeze everything out of this season um, and have another thing to smile about when we look back in the future. Thank you. What the heck? Club's gone. Oh, that's it now. I've got no word. I'm not doing anything else. I'm done. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm lost. I'm really sad. I've got a drive. I've got a drive lesson now. I've got a drive lesson now. My head's gone. Um, but yeah, Klopp's gone. I've got a gem could cry. But yeah, thank you, Klopp, for everything, man. We have to win every single game now. We have to. There's no, there's no discussion. We have to win every single game now. If we keep going. Go enjoy. Leave a like or subscribe. We got the Norwich game Sunday. Everybody, be ready. We want to win everything now. I want to try and get to at least one Liverpool game this season. I have to. I have to now. It's Klopp's last season. I have to get one game. But yeah, we'll see what happens. God bless you all. Love you all. I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Peace.